Hey everyone, welcome back to Code in Motion. Today we're looking at leak code problem number 33, search in rotated sorted array. Now, before we look at this problem, I highly recommend you to solve leak code problem number 153 first, find minimum in rotated sorted array, just to get comfortable with how rotated sorted arrays look like. I also have a video on this, so be sure to check it out. And then lastly, I also recommend you go through my blog of the 14 most famous leak code patterns to solve any question, because in this blog, I actually go through the binary search and modified binary search patterns. And inside of this, you have coding templates for binary search as well. So highly recommend you check out these resources before getting started on this problem. With that being said, let's actually take a look at what this problem is asking us to do. So we need to search in a rotated sorted array uh, and we need to do so in log n time. So let's actually take a look at an example just to simplify things. If we have a numbers integer array, four, five, six, seven, zero, one, two. This is actually a rotated sorted array. Sorted array in the sense that we have four, five, six, seven, which is sorted. We have zero, one, two, which is sorted. But notice they're out of place. They're out of order. And it's because zero, one, two in the beginning was rotated towards the end of the array. And so what we need to do actually is come up with an algorithm in log n time. So use a modification of binary search in order to find a target value inside a sorted rotated array. And in this case, we need to return back the index, which is four index of zero. Now, if we can't find the target, then we need to return back negative one, like in classic binary search. Now, the way I'm going to teach you guys how to solve a question like this that you've never seen before is actually not jumping to the solution right away. I want you guys to learn how to take a pen and paper, draw on a whiteboard, draw on a virtual whiteboard on your computer, come up with some sort of input like this array, and then try to find a target value at numerous different positions in the sorted array, and you will come up with the algorithm yourself. That's actually the cool part about this. Focus more on breaking down the problem and trying various inputs to find out the algorithm yourself, to truly learn it and understand it conceptually rather than jumping to a solution. So in this case, the first time I saw this, I didn't know where to start. I drew out a rotated sorted array like this one, and I started asking myself questions. The first question is, the first case that I wanna go through is, what if I wanna find the target five in this array? How would that be different from regular binary search? So I'm gonna start the regular binary search, right? So in this case, the target is in the left portion of the array, it's five. I have my left and right pointers, and my mid value is seven. Now, the question we always ask ourselves is, is the target equal to the mid value? Because if it is, then we're done. It doesn't matter if it's rotated, right? Uh, in this case, it's not. I'm looking for five, but the mid value is seven. So now we need to choose between the left subarray or the right subarray. How do I know where to go? Well, take a look at the left and mid values. Notice that the left value is smaller than the mid value. That means that we're a normal sorted array, right? This is actually like regular classic binary search. Your left value should always be smaller than your mid value. But if you take a look at the right portion of the subarray, something is off. The right value is smaller than the mid value. That never happens in a normal sorted array, right? So what does that tell us? That tells us that the rotation is occurring on the right hand side, the right subarray. Something is off with that subarray. But first we're gonna ask ourselves, is the left subarray sorted, right? So let's ask ourselves, is the left subarray sorted? It is. The condition we use for that is, is the left value smaller or equal to the mid value? In this case, it is. But we need to ask ourselves another question. Now that we know that the left subarray is sorted, is our target contained within that sorted array? So the boundary for that sorted array is three, seven. Is five inside of three and seven? It is. So we go left in this case. Not only is the left side sorted, but our target is contained within that range. So let's move the right pointer to the left subarray. Now let's calculate another mid pointer. In this case, four. Is four equal five, which is my target? It's not. So I asked myself, is the left side sorted? It is. Three is less than or equal to four, so the left side is sorted. However, is my target value contained inside of that sorted array? It's not. Five is not within the bounds of three, four. So we know for sure we cannot find our answer in the left side of the array. So what should we do? Well, we only have one other choice, go right. 
right? We know for sure that the answer can't be in the left side, so go right. It's not guaranteed that our answer is in the right subarray, but we know for sure that it's not in the left portion. So our only option here is to move the left pointer to go to the right portion of the subarray. Now let's calculate the mid pointer again. And we find that it's actually at five. In this case, the target is equal to five, right? So we found our target. This was case number one, finding five in this rotated sorted array. Now let's take a look at case two. So in this case, I want to find the target one. The target is in the right portion of the uh, array. So let's initialize left and right pointers with mid. In this case, we ask ourselves the same question. Target is not equal to mid, and is the left side sorted? Yes, the left side is sorted, but is my target within the range of the left side? No, it's not. The left side is sorted, the range is 3-7, but target is not within 3-7. So our only chance to find a solution is actually going to the right-hand side. So let's move the left pointer. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to calculate a mid pointer. In this case, zero. Is the target equal to zero? No, it's not. So we have to ask ourselves, is the left side sorted? No, this is the first case that we see that the left side is not sorted, right? Eight is greater than zero. So the left value is greater than your mid value. So what does that mean? If we take a look at the mid and right pointers, that means now the right portion is sorted. So if the right portion is sorted, we could ask ourselves, is our target contained inside of the right sorted interval? In this case, is one contained in the interval zero to two? It is. So the right side is sorted. We know the right side is sorted and our target is contained within that range. So let's go to the right side, right? Let's move the left pointer and explore the right subarray. Now we calculate mid again. In this case, we find that the value is one. And so we're actually done our algorithm. We found the target. This was case two. Now let's take a look at case three. So I want to find the target in the right position, but it occurs before the rotation, right? So we're going to see it's a little bit different, but let's go through the logic again. So let's initialize our pointers. We have left, right, and mid. We're going to do the same exact thing. Is nine equal to seven, which is the mid value? No, it's not. Is the left side sorted? Yes, the left side is sorted because three is smaller than seven. However, my target value is nine, which is not in that range. So go to the right. Let's move the left pointer. Now we're going to calculate mid again. Mid is zero. Is mid equal to nine? No, it's not. Now I ask myself, is the left side sorted? No, it's not. The right side is sorted. However, even though the right side is sorted, the range is zero to two. Is nine contained in zero to two? No, it's not. So we know the right hand side is sorted, but we know for sure our target value cannot be there. So our only choice is to explore the left subarray. So we move the right pointer. Now we recalculate mid. In this case, mid, mid is going to point to eight. Nine is not equal to eight, which is the target. So we ask ourselves, is the left side sorted? In this case, left is equal to mid. So yes, technically it's sorted. It's just one number. But notice that our target is nine, which is not in the range of eight, eight. So our only chance is to explore the right side. So let's go to the right side and let's calculate mid. In this case, is our target equal to nine? It is. So we actually found the target and we're done. This happens in log n time, right? This is basically just binary search, just with modified conditional checks. Now, what would happen if we were searching for 10? We would end up at the same position, but we would, we would notice that 10 is actually not in this array, right? Eventually, we would move the left or right pointers and left would be greater than right. And we would stop the iteration and return back negative one. That's the only difference. Now, I just want to look at basically an overview over here or a recap. So if the left side is sorted and the target is within the left range, then we go left for sure, right? However, if the left side is sorted and the target is not in the left range, that means we must go right. That's the only possible uh, way we'll actually find an answer. Though it's not guaranteed we'll find an answer, but we know for sure we can't go left. Now, if the right side is sorted and the target is in the right interval, then go right. And likewise, if the right side is sorted and the target is not in the range, then go left. That's your only possible way of getting an answer. And finally, all of these run in log n time, right? This is basically just binary search. 
Just we have to be careful with the conditional checks that we make with regards to the left, the mid, and the right pointers. So now let's code out the solution. I know I'm going to need my left and right pointers, so let's initialize them. So 0 is going to be for left, and n minus 1 is going to be for the right. Now I'm going to say while left is less than or equal to the right, we have to calculate the mid pointer. So mid is equal to left plus right minus left divided by 2. Now in Python, you could just say mid is equal to left plus right divided by 2. But in other languages, you will go over the maximum integer value. So we could play a little defensive over here. Now we're going to check if the mid value is equal to the target. So if nums at mid is equal to the target, then we're done, right? This is actually the easiest case. It's like regular binary search. So we return back the mid uh, index. However, now we need to check if the left side is sorted, right? That's the first check. So if nums at left is less than or equal to nums at mid, that means that the left uh, subarray is sorted. Now, what else do we need to check? We need to make sure that the target is within that interval, right? So if nums left is less than or equal to target, which is less than or equal to nums at mid, that means the target is actually contained in that range. And so what do we do? We, we explore the left subarray. So right is equal to mid minus one. Else, that means that even though the left side is sorted, uh, our target is not within that range. So our only possible way of exploring a solution is going to the right subarray. So left is equal to mid plus one. Likewise, if the left side is not sorted, then the right side is sorted. The right side sorted. So we could say else over here, if nums at mid, so now we need to check that. So we know if the left side is sorted, now the right side is sorted. That's the case that we're dealing with now, right? So if the right side is sorted, we still need to make sure that the target is within the right sorted range, right? So if nums mid is smaller or equal to the target, which is less than or equal to nums at right, then that means that not only is the right portion sorted, but our target is contained within that interval. So go to the right subarray. Left is equal to mid plus one. Else, that means that even though the right subarray is sorted, our target value is not within that range. So our only chance to explore is on the left subarray. So move the right pointer to mid minus one. And then finally, if you found no solution here, simply return back negative one at the end of the algorithm. Let's run this and verify it succeeds. And there we have it. I hope this helped out. And if you're interested in watching the rest of the Blind 75 list in animated format, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.